Hi guys, welcome to Product Orders Point. Okay, so in this tutorial, let's learn how to show a contextual menu that is a pop-up menu on a long press on any widget. For example, here I have created a simple app just for a demo of this tutorial. So you can see I have an image widget at the center of my screen. Okay, so I'm just uh, long pressing on this image. So you can see there is a contextual menu being popped up when I long press on this uh, image. Okay. So let's learn how to do that. Okay, so now we are in our Android Studio IDE and here I have created a Flutter project by name long press menu and I have removed the default code that is the counter code and kept a empty container by making use of padding widget. Okay, so let's get started to show a menu on a long press on any widget in Flutter. Okay, so first of all, let me create a image network image to be shown at the center of my screen okay so for that inside this container i will just make use of a child widget and the child widget will be image dot network okay so here i need to just pass the url of a image so let me get a url okay so here i have just copied a image url from google images and just kept it over here so let me run this project and show you the app okay so you can see this is the image that will that is been shown on my device okay so now when a user long press on this image i want to show a menu item so for that uh, to detect a long press we will just make use of a widget called as just a detector so for that i just need to wrap it with this container or else with this image widget okay so what i will do is i will just wrap it with this container okay so just a detector okay so by making use of just a detector we can just get the position a tapped position of a user that is x and y axis of a tapped position so to get a x and y coordinates of our tapped position we are going to make use of a property that comes with just a detector that is on tap down okay so by making use of this we can get a tapped position okay and at the tap position if a user long press we need to get detected and show a menu pop-up menu item okay so for that we are going to make use of on long press property okay so these are the two uh, properties that we need to get a tap position and to show a uh, pop-up menu okay so let's create a separate functions for both of these properties okay so over here let me create so here i have created two functions one is to get a tapped position and one more is to show a context menu at a tapped position okay so here in the tapped position get tapped position i need a variable to be passed from this property that is on tap down so this pro uh, fun this variable i need to pass to this function so let's accept it in this function on tap down detail tapped position okay so this tap position i need to store it in a global variable so i will just create a variable here over here so offset tapped position is equal to offset dot zero so initially i will just set the offset to zero and in this offset variable i am going to store the tapped position that is x and y coordinates okay so let's do it so final render box render box is equal to context dot find render box as render box okay and then set state so inside set state i'm i will just initialize our this variable that is the tapped position inside our global offset variable okay so here render box dot global to local tapped position dot global position okay so now inside this we have x and y coordinates been stored so let me print it and show you
okay so now i need to just call this function from our tap down property of gesture detector okay so call this property and pass our parameter that is the position okay hot refresh so let's check so i'm just tapping on the widget so you can see i have got a tapped position that is x coordinates and y coordinates of our mobile screen okay okay so now at this tapped position i need to show a menu bar on a long press so i will just make use of this function that is uh, show context menu okay so here i need to pass context from this long on a long press so we'll just call it and just pass the context okay so now let's create two menus in this pop up uh, functions okay so over here first of all we need to create a overlay so that we can just show a menu uh, items at a particular position by overlaying the image okay so render box render object overlay is equal to over overlay dot of context dot find object uh, render object okay so this is the overlay been created by making use of context and find render object okay so that we can just show a menu at on top of uh, any widget okay so now let's create a menu items so final result is equal to await okay so as we are going to make use of a await we need to make this function as a synchronization okay so await show menu okay so here you can see there are three properties that we need to pass one is the context the second one is the position where we want to show our menu and the third one is the item that we want to show in our uh, menu bar sorry uh, the menu items okay so first of all let's create an items so here we need to create a array of items so con const pop up menu menu item so children will be a text widget so we'll just keep it as add me to favorite okay so likewise i will just create one more menu so I'll just copy it and paste it and i will just name it as close okay so with this menu we need to define a values to this menu so that we can identify which menu has been selected by a user so here let me give a value as favorite and this is value as close okay so now we have a pop-up menu with two items in it okay so now we need to show the pop-up menu at a tab position that is long press position so by making use of this property we can do it okay so relative rectangle dot form rectangle okay so here we need to pass uh, create a rectangle and we need to show a container okay so let's do that okay so rectangle dot from lthw and here left top width and height so we need to define it so left and top is our x and y axis so we get this in this on tap position so so we'll just copy it and paste dot x axis and the top will be dot d y axis and width we can just define it as 10 and height we can define it as 10 the second uh, parameter we need to pass over here is rectangle dot form left top left down uh, height width okay so here 
just pass 0 and 0 and here we need to pass two parameters that is uh, width and height so overlay we have just created overlay dot paint boundaries dot size dot width and the same thing for height height okay so now uh, let me call this function okay so i have already called it so let me hot refresh and check if this is working or no okay so you can see so you can see there is a menu being shown on a long press okay and the last thing over here is we need to check which option is being selected by a user so we need to perform some action on uh, selected item from this menu so let's do that okay so the selected items data will be stored in this result so we can make use of this and perform any action so let's do it okay in this function itself so here I will just make use of switch statement result okay so case so first case will be our uh, this favorite variable so in this result we will have a selected value that is first item if the user select first pop-up menu then it will return fail and if user select close then this it will return this okay so a favorite so we we'll just print it favorite and then just break this statement Okay, so likewise I need to create second case that is close okay so hot refresh let's check this if it is working okay so so you can see favorite has been selected so now let me close so you can see the close menu has been selected okay so that's all for this video tutorial thanks for watching please do subscribe protocol as point thank you